came up this morning, the Arthur Barnett building and the Beats building. I've just had a chance to actually talk to the developer, completely unaware of it, and it stuffs up everything. So can we just be aware that when that comes back, I will certainly move that it comes out. What's uh, this? The Arthur Barnett Beats building that came up this morning. I, I wasn't here, no. obviously. Would you? No, we, we were going to raise that and come back with further information. Um, you've, you've found out about the timeline, that's great. There were a couple of other questions about that building. So when we do the recommendations the following Friday, that's when the committee would need to discuss whether or not it wants to pull out that well, item. We jeopardise, we one, jeopardise the entire development. Two, the building... Sorry, there. I have no idea what you're talking about. No. The, the issue the issue was that the suggestion was that the Arthur Barnett Beaths building, the old Arthur Barnett Beaths building, become a heritage listed building yes. for the entirety of the building, not just the exterior, which means that if you want to do alterations inside, as you can imagine they want to do for the whole new development down there, they would have to come back and get special resource consents and things and it I would... I thought that building was already cut. DIC used to be a massive building when I was a kid. It was already cut the, in half. The building has been cut in half, has then been completely re-altered. We've added two storeys to it when we built the school. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There is nothing, <laughs> there is not very much that is heritage about it unless the 1990s is suddenly heritage. Um, so the exterior, yes, no problem, but um, just the signal that I'm giving is that we simply cannot do that and have that retail precinct go ahead. Are, are you talking about, is this the crossing site? You're saying that this stops the or could potentially compromise the crossing mm. development. <laughs> that would be nonsensical. I agree, completely. Mm. Mm. So that's which why, is why we're getting checked. more information to you. We haven't passed any recommendations on it today. Just it will be considered next yeah. Friday. Just letting you know the information. Sorry, so when you come back to us, can you tell us... Um, uh, I mean, give us a paper on yeah. the on the issue. I mean, I I we'll take you through the papers and um, assessment reports and things like that. Okay. Yes, they're all online. Oh. Everything is online. Okay. Right. Plus, plus the six thousand odd technical reports. There are only two copies of them, and they're on both sides of the room here. Right, but the technical ones are online. Yes, so they are. yeah, they're all yep. online. Everything's online. Can you okay. just send a link to the heritage ones? The next right. one. Can we just get a link to the heritage ones? Okay. Next one. There is um, just one more item. One more item for Consequential today. Consequential amendments varied. Yes. Now, um, you will have received... Um, there are four chapters. That's Rural Open Space Transport and Subdivision, which now have a part of them in Stage 3. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this, but if I flick through it, most of rural, for example, all the grey is in stage two. What is in stage three is simply where there's a, um, a uh, objective policy or rule that relates to the chapters in stage three, because obviously in stage two chapters, we couldn't write rules that were coming out in stage three. So that's all that is meant by consequential amendments is that the stage two chapters have been amendment, amended now so that they can include stuff in them for stage three. So is there anything of any controversial nature is or there? anything that you're sneaking in that we might not be expecting <laughs> or...? Not that I'm aware of. I can give you an example. Not that um, you're sneaky. Let, <laughs> I wasn't I Let wasn't me give you an example. For a minute. If, if you can find rural in your stage three box, no, I, I don't chapter think, 17. I don't even think I... I didn't know what you meant by consequential amendments, so I didn't no. bring them all. That's fine. I can show you. I'll just find something. Look for anything that's in black. Yep. So what does this do in the rural zone? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that is in black just relates to chapters. Oh, right. Okay. So, so, so these are all relevant to stage three chapters. So there are amendments to stage two chapters that we've already signed off. But they pick up, for example, coastal environment and significant landscapes goes into the rural chapter, and um, and that's actually really not much more no. than that. It's so, just additions 
uh, and additions into the state, they will come into those chapters, like the stage yep. two chapters. Built form but, standards, yes, banks, exactly. commercial, et cetera, et cetera. So that relate if, to cultural natural heritage or, or, or uh, natural hazards stage three. Or if everyone happens. can just go through these yep. and have a, have a squiz, um, if they are... If, if there are any issues, we can pop them in writing yes. and um, we'll deal with this. Yes. As, can I ask just one week. simple question? And it's on querying, not surprisingly. Is there any way in which we can tighten the rules on querying at this stage on this? No. Right, okay. No, the rules okay. on querying have gone through in stage two, which okay. have all signed That's off right. now and they'll be notified on May the 1st, 2nd. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Um, um, all right, so I think that's probably it for the day. Thank you, yes. What? Well, the transport is the same. It's transport, open space and subdivision and rural, all which have um, consequential amendments. Um, our board is particularly concerned that Worcester Street has been closed and um, you know that it's really unclear because the Central City Accessible Transport Plan didn't really have that level of detail. But then we're told that it's part of the Cycleways Plan. Then we're told it's part of the Central City Recovery Plan. So I just want to check: is it part of the district plan? Is that part of this amendment that you're proposing? Uh, I'm, 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 I had fun more information about that. Yeah, I'm not right. aware of it, but yeah, it's if not we, in the district plan. So if we can have information yep. come back sure. about on page 32. What that means for thirty-two in the chapter? Uh, page thirty-two in chapter seven. Yeah, just in that blue box. Oh, you've got it there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so just in terms of Worcester Street, what status we, we're giving it through the district plan? Sure. Um, that would be great. And what that means in terms of its closure? Very good. So everyone now understands that with these um, four chapters. The bits that are in dark are actually the stage three right, notifications right. included in their individual chapters. So if there are any questions or issues, um, if we could notify those. Yep. Just for clarification, because Elizabeth kindly sent us all of this on Tuesday. So it's in, and, and she put in capital letters even from it. So it has, been, she, it has been sent to us, yeah. all of these right. electronically. Yeah. I have worked that out. So, um, I mean, next next week it's going to be uh, challenging uh, with respect to um, making sure that we've got enough time to mm. um, complete these. So, mm. um, Madam Chair, could I suggest that on the Wednesday we deal with um, some of the issues that have already been raised today where people are wanting more information? Yep. And then next Friday, I'm trying to see if I can get James Winchester here to give you a briefing on how the residential um, hearings have gone, because that will impact on, uh, for instance, the issues you raised today about, for example, um, what was it, um, some of those community facilities being permitted in, in some of the zones, um, fire stations, but there was also the other one. Um, <coughs> That's right, that's right. So that might give you a heads up on that. And then we still have the briefing on natural hazards stage two, which is going into stage three to do, as well as the recommendations. So, so well, you know, I mean, in terms of timetabling, it's, let's have a look. So um, how long do we need on Wednesday morning? I would think you might need, because we're going to go through the recommendations, I think you need at least an hour more than the two hours that are already in your diary. Well, that can't happen because of meetings in the people's diary. Right. So so um, it's a, a, the DPR subcommittee is only in my diary for one hour at this moment. So On Friday? On Thursday, uh, Wednesday. Yes, one hour on Wednesday and two hours on Yeah, but on I Friday. asked you how much time do we need on Wednesday. Oh, sorry, it's yeah. I thought you said Friday. Um, Wednesday an hour will do. It will do. Yes. You, you wouldn't want to do anything else on the Wednesday, like maybe get the lawyer's well, briefing then? Well, it we depends could... on when they're available. I've got an email into them and I haven't had a response yet. Um, if you have got extra time on Wednesday, I'm always happy to bring things forward yeah. where we can. Do you think... Uh, yes, it, it, it starts at 8. Are people generally available till 10 o'clock on Wednesday? Uh, you've got your task force on yeah. homelessness. Glenn. So we would at nine. nine. And that's in Beckenham, actually. So that's oh, in okay. All right. Why have you got in Beckenham? So we'll... we'll How many people are coming? 
Oh. So that, that's one hour. Excuse me. And then on the Friday, don't worry, it's fine. Um, okay. we're, we've got a Chief Executive and Employment Matters Subcommittee from one o'clock till three o'clock, so there's two hours there. Um, we we have another briefing group. in the afternoon. So um, I think going beyond one o'clock is going to be very difficult on the Friday. Is that going to be enough time? I hope so. All right. Do you want to start earlier? Well, earlier than eight o'clock. Oh, I've got it at nine o'clock. Sorry. It's oh, at nine o'clock on Friday. Okay. Well, let's start it at eight o'clock. That'd be fine. Okay. That would yep. be great. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Eight o'clock. At eleven. Yes, you have. Yeah, but we'll, we'll start at 8 o'clock and we'll try and get it all done by 11, but if we can't, we might have to... For, for the benefit of those who may have meetings later on, which would you prefer to do first on Friday? Do the presentation of the natural hazards or go into the recommendations for all of those chapters we've been through and then do the presentation on natural hazards? I would prefer to start with the CRT building, so I can know that... That's fine, we could do that, yeah. But that won't take... Well, we, we, we might be able to do that on Wednesday. No, well, let's, let's deal okay. with that on Wednesday. Because, look, I don't want to hold things up. Is there, are there any things that we could resolve on Wednesday? I mean... You could go through any of the recommendations for the presentations that you've seen today. OK. But we won't... Let, we let, only let, have an hour Let's so. see if, if people could um, identify... Are there any chapters... That there are that people are comfortable with the recommendations because if we can, if we could literally get mm. you know, it's kind of clear the decks. Mm. Then on Friday we could really give natural hazards the what it deserves, and I think it's it's the biggest issue facing Christchurch really. I mean, mm. and oh, and actually an advanced question to, for you to think about for natural hazards is why a tsunami is not included. Oh, because there's a map on tsunamis in the residential stage one. The tsunamis maps already went out as part of stage one. Yeah, but why aren't they included in natural hazards? Uh, I mean, it just I, seems I thought it odd. was, but I'll check that. Just let me check that. It has I, already gone out, but I'll check whether it's yeah, in but it, the it just seems odd that well. when you're doing a natural hazards chapter, that you wouldn't have tsunami risk as a natural hazard. So I, I've been through it and had some discussion um, uh, with Helen, and there are, uh, hang on, I'm speaking, there, there are, some, are some other parts of the, ha which are, hang on David, I'm speaking, um, which relate to, this is really important, yeah, there yeah. are in the other chapters, I'm sure Helen will explain yeah. that too, but definitions of what hazards are, I would have thought tsunamis would be there too. Yeah, it should be, in my view it should be mentioned in the, in the, in the natural hazards chapter, um, I mean the, this, this, I can't imagine why lines are in one chapter called um, residential. I, I'm sure they are. I just can't recall everything okay. that's gone out in stage All right, one, well, and I can come back to Advanced warning? Yep. I want to know about right. tsunamis as well. Now, there are a lot of questions that were raised today, so I'm not sure when you want me to go through them, on Wednesday or on Friday. We're going to try and do as much of it as we can on Wednesday, so if we could if we could do this... Um, we can do the building. Arthur Barnett's building, or whatever it's called, DIC building, yes. Um, first. Yes. And... Um, well, it depends whether they could get the lawyer down. Yes. Is there is there anything else that we could definitely clear the decks with on Wednesday? If people could just like seriously, if there aren't issues like that, that whole of that. Um, the, the specific purpose flat the, land recovery. The natural could, and cultural heritage off. chapter. We we basically have done all of that. Yeah. Um, that shouldn't take any time at all. Um, we could, we'll have as many recommendations up there as you yep. can get through. Well, just yeah, just get them all together. Yes, and they are. We yep. have them all together. Okay, ready. all right. Um, can I just confirm, is it still just one hour on Wednesday? Um, unfortunately, I, w I have to tragically agree with that That's because fine. others have important meetings in their diaries already. And Friday starts at 8 now Friday and can go through till 8. 1. Yep. Okay. And if, yeah, if you could um, get that into the... Um, yes. Thing, although there are some people who have got meetings when oh, on Friday. Land drainage recovery. You, you couldn't tip that out a wee bit further. Um, 
Or alternatively, we could um, break at 11 o'clock and come back at 12 or something. Would that work? Is that on? I mean, when is that? When do I have fr Friday. The Friday. So if we could break it, break it, um, break at 11 o'clock. Yes. And come back at um, midday. Yes. And go for another hour. Okay, so it's 8 till 11 and then 12 to 1. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, if I could just uh, alert you, you will be receiving some more papers tonight, particularly the, the finalised Tonkin and Taylor report, which is still confidential. Great. Thank you. Yes. So people will be able to take a hard copy home with them? It, it's being couriered to you tonight. Oh, good. Well, that's good. I think it's because it hasn't been peer-reviewed yet, is that...? That's correct. It hasn't been peer-reviewed yet. Yeah. All right, so if I could just, um, one small plea is just to remind you to bring your papers then for the next few days, particularly the maps, because it is expensive continually printing things um, to make spares available. Yes, well, um, yeah, well, I'm not going to go into what I think about this process, but we'll, 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 we'll try and do our best. Thank you. Of course you can, yeah. I don't think anyone's taking any of this home over the weekend, not this lot anyway. <laughs>